Have you ever wondered how top performing bloggers consistently publish exceptional posts? While their work may look like magic, it doesn't happen by accident. They have processes that help them work efficiently and produce quality content. This is true for most writers in general. Sitting down to write a piece without a clear workflow wastes time and undermines your own results. The old maxim, work smarter not harder, may be cliched but when it comes to blogging, it sums up what is required for long-term success. I am Bobin Kwanchamba, founder and CEO of Chile Media Inc., where we leverage the power of media and technology to empower you. Fortunately, you can write great blog posts every time you sit down behind your laptop. Over time, you can even grow your audience and increase your traffic consistently and sustainably. Whether you're building a blogging business or working with a marketing team, you can get the results you want with a little bit of planning. The best part is how simple this process actually is too. Why there are lots of steps involved when it comes to crafting content, the individual steps are easy to follow. Here's how to write posts that stand out from the pack, resonate with your audience and make you a topical authority. One, write about something people want to know. One of the biggest reasons for a successful blog post is picking topics that people are mostly interested in. To find good blog post ideas, try the following. Asking your readers, looking at what subjects are most popular already on your blog. Doing keyword research, more about this later. If your website is about cycling, don't start blogging about running. Although some people may be interested, most won't be. Another thing I wouldn't recommend doing is talking about the same subject more often. 2. Research the best keyword for your post topic. You should always write for your reader. I hate reading a post that is so proposed was to get ranked in Google. Having said that, it is important to optimize it as well as possible. If you could only do one thing to improve your search engine rankings when writing a blog post, it would be to do keyword research. Keyword research is looking up which search terms get what amount of traffic. This will help you figure out what to call your post to get the most traffic possible. Don't underestimate this tip. Often, I find myself nearly writing a post that gets under 100 searches a month until I do my keyword research and find keywords that get 10,000 searches. What I find most helpful is looking at the articles that already rank high in Google for the search term I want to use. You are able to see all the keywords their posts rank for and how much traffic they are getting. It is very helpful to figure out other great topics for your blog post. The introduction is something you will revisit when you are all through with your draft. But writing it first helps you put into words what you are going to say in the post. It might be clunky but it will launch you into the writing of the actual copy. You can go back and make it amazing and full of hooks later once your full draft post is done. Here are some tips to build your introduction. Tip number one, value. Think of your unique value for the blog post, like your headline. Share the value your readers will get if they continue to read the blog post. One way to think about this is the classic marketing technique, WIFM otherwise known as what is in it. Tip number two, fact. Start with an interesting fact or start about the content within your blog post. Alternatively, you could start with a fact or story that may seem unrelated, but tie it in through the introduction. Tip number three, anecdote. What is the personal opinion you hold as true that could catch your reader's attention? Tip number four, question. Ask a question to help your readers understand the answer which is covered throughout your blog post. 
3. Write a blog post headline people want to click. The majority of people reading this post will come from either social media or search engines. Almost everyone that visits the post will do so because of the title of the article. If the blog post headline was boring like writing the content, many people will not click on it. The same could apply to blog post headlines that were very long. When I write a blog post headline, I like to include both the explanation and the benefit. Using this post as an example, how to write a blog post is the explanation. To get incredible results is the benefit. Here are some examples of good blog post headlines that you can use. 10 reasons why no one is reading your blog post. How to optimize your blog post to rank number one in Google. 20 most influential people in web designing in Cameroon. Always remember that your title must entice people to read your post. No one will click your link and that includes search engine readers. 4. Start writing your post with the first sentence. According to Copy Blogger, the second most important element in copywriting is the first sentence. As they put it, the point of the headline is to get them to read the first sentence. The point of the first sentence is to get them to read the second sentence and so on and so forth. Then if they get through the intro, they are likely to keep reading. How do you write an introduction? I'm going to explain in these four tips. Number one, hook. Start with a quote, ask a question, reveal a start, elicit imagery and otherwise inspire curiosity. Oh yes, make it short. Two, rapport. Make yourself relatable. Empathize with your hopes, dreams and struggles. Three, problem. Reveal a common problem and make sure they understand why it is a problem that is important to fix. Four, promise. Promise to solve the problem if they continue reading the post. Five, write a long, incredible blog post. The average website that ranks in the top of Google has at least 2,000 words. Why? Because Google wants to send their users to the best content possible and it is unlikely that a 300 word article will be that good. Of course, search engine rankings aren't just down to the word count. The better your post, the more backlinks it will get and this probably has an even bigger influence on rankings. Another thing if you are investing a lot of time into an amazing article, you are also more likely to work on search engine optimization and find good keywords to run for. 6. Improve your blog post readability Readability is so important if you want your post to be read. Take this post for example. Each headline is an H3 tag. It is big and bold and you can clearly see. A lot of people just bold their titles, which makes it hard to pinpoint where each step starts and finishes. Some people will group together several points within a paragraph instead of using bullet points. I love bullet points because people like to skim content. Bullet points are short, straight to the point and nearly always get read. Another thing that is important is grammar and spelling. Make your content easy to read and understand. 7. Use images to sell your blog post People really do judge a book by its cover. We all do. Another saying that is really true is a picture speaks 1000 words. Adding a picture is like adding a lot more text but they can consume it in a second. Think about this. If you have two blog posts about how to clean a car, one had pictures and the other did not. Which will you be more likely to look at? The one with pictures? Even if you can't get any decent pictures, just you in front of an old car with a sponge brings it to life. 8. Include links to related posts. There are two main ways to include links in blog posts and both influence search engine optimization. 1. 
interlinking this is when you link to other pages on your website this is good to reduce bounce rate and make your website more user friendly two external linking linking authority websites both type of links help google figure out what your content is about when you link to a post about seo from another post about seo it helps google to understand your blog post topic as for how you should link we love to set our links to open in a new window. If you're reading a post, it is not going to be easy if you keep being redirected every time you see a new link that you want to look at. 9. Make sure your blog post design is consistent. Here are some examples of things to make sure are consistent throughout a blog post. Size of images. Styling of images. Styling and text of links. For example, if you write visit website after point 1, don't link to it after point 2 as visit site. Like links. Make sure numbers are consistent in your headlines. For example, if I set step 1, then the next headline will be step 2. Well, 1 is a word and 2 is a number. If you use a capital letter for a headline, do the same for all headlines in that article. 10. Optimize your blog post to rank high in search engines. Once you've done all of the above, you need to optimize your blog post for search engines. The best way to do this is with a free WordPress plugin called Yoast SEO. Once you install it, you will see a box appear at the bottom of your blog post editor. It will ask you what your keyword is and then tell you what you need to do to optimize your post to best rank for the search term. 11. Publish your post at the busiest time of the day. I used to just publish posts the second they were ready. It could be early Sunday morning for all I cared. I just wanted to put it online. I still sometimes sleep up and publish posts late in the day, which isn't the best thing to do in my opinion. If you look at when internet marketers launch their products, it is nearly always either 2 p.m. or 5 p.m. GMT. This usually is the best time around the world for people being online with the least amount of distractions. In America, people are just getting up. In the UK, people are just finishing work. Using WordPress, you can schedule when you want the blog post to be published. Remember, when it comes to how to write a blog post, your biggest focus should be on how to make the post as great as possible. If you love this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to more tutorials on digital marketing. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.